On the 25th of May 1961, American President John F. Kennedy made the announcement to a joint session of Congress that he had set his sights on a manned moon landing before the end of the decade. Welcome to History Pod. To many people, including some personnel at NASA, Kennedy's address seemed to be pure fantasy. The USA had only sent its first man into space 20 days earlier, and although Alan Shepard's spaceflight aboard Freedom 7 was a huge success, the USSR's Yuri Gagarin had become the first man in space three weeks before that. Taking on the USSR at a technological game that their opponent was already winning appeared reckless. An underlying issue was that, as part of his election campaign, Kennedy had promised to outperform the Soviet Union in the fields of space exploration and missile defence. In his famed television debate with Richard Nixon, Kennedy had mocked the fact that Nixon had declared his pride that the USA was ahead of the USSR in terms of colour television, while trailing in terms of rocket thrust. Gagarin's successful spaceflight had further proved to the world that the USSR was winning the space race and put pressure on Kennedy to increase spending on the Apollo space program. Having received a memo from Vice President Lyndon B. Johnson, in which Johnson reported that the USA was unlikely to ever outperform the USSR under the current spending arrangements, Kennedy launched the largest peacetime financial commitment ever made. The $24 billion of investment did work, however, and Apollo 11 achieved Kennedy's goal by landing on the moon on the 20th of July, 1969.